And we're here at the Nanotechnology Conference. And uh, hi, so who are you? I'm Sergios Logothetidis, uh, professor in nanotechnology, coming from Aristotle University and director of uh, Nanotechnology Lab in Aristotle University. So you're the founder of the Nanotechnology Conference? Yes, uh, this uh, Nanotechnology Conference started 16 years ago here in Thessaloniki and uh, annually uh, take place uh, in this uh, area, in this uh, hotel and uh, conference center. The name is Porto Palace, uh, the last uh, seven years. So here you have the, you are inside the exhibition and the area where you have the breaks and the posters and the networking uh, and uh, all these activities taking place. Uh, for example, the matchmaking uh, uh, meetings uh, and the B2B meetings. So what kind of booth uh, <coughs> exhibitors do you have around here? Uh, we have uh, exhibitors coming from uh, industry, given uh, the latest uh, results on uh, uh, nanotechnology or product, or uh, companies from uh, coming uh, with their new equipment, or uh, uh, several activities uh, presented by universities or research centers uh, with the latest results in order to uh, promote, uh, to disseminate, uh, and possibly through the other activities like the matchmaking to transfer technology, discussing with people coming from uh, industry or investors uh, in order to transfer their uh, results. So we have uh, real results, uh, products, uh, or uh, technology transfer activities taking place uh, within these exhibitors uh, and the booths uh, who are presented by various people uh, from uh, Europe and uh, Asia and uh, America. And so here is one of the central booths, is the LTFN booth right here uh, with um, some of the equipment that is being yes. used. Yes, and this is uh, uh, the nanotechnology lab uh, booth uh, with several, uh, uh, let's say, uh, presentations. Uh, one of them is uh, coming from uh, the 3D bioprinter, a, a new device uh, which are proper uh, in order to make experiments uh, in 3D bioprinting in order to develop uh, various functionalities and to integrate them in uh, uh, 3D uh, constructs. Uh, uh, you will see the next uh, few years uh, results uh, from these fields uh, uh, made in uh, organs or other parts of uh, human body. But of course, you need uh, several years uh, of uh, application and research in order to develop and have a final product in the, in the market. So I'll do a separate video here a little bit later. It's also here with the OET. Uh, this is uh, another company which is a startup, a spin out of uh, this nanotechnology lab. Uh, they working on uh, organic electronic uh, stuff uh, like uh, organic photovoltaics. Uh, actually, here they exhibit uh, various. Dem demonstrators uh, producing light uh, uh, or using uh, from automotive uh, or uh, uh, different applications upstairs in the roof garden of this hotel. They have uh, six uh, uh, other demonstrators. Uh, also, they work uh, on organic uh, light emitting diodes. They have some uh, demonstrators. Uh, behind them uh, are uh, other uh, companies like uh, Fuji, uh, Dematics uh, or uh, yeah. other activities which are related to uh, HOPE. HOPE is uh, the booth of uh, Hellenic Organic Print Electronic Association. Uh, it's an association with uh, 40 companies uh, in the area of nanotechnology, especially on organic uh, electronics. Uh, they organize activities and disseminate and try to bring uh, the members to work together with other members all over the world. Uh, I'll do a separate uh, video thereafter. And the Nanonet also? Nanonet is uh, a network started in uh, 2013 with uh, 600 uh, members, organizations, universities, companies, all over the world, uh, started from a uh, nanotechnology lab, uh, as I mentioned, uh, in 2003. And uh, nowadays, uh, they work together and support also these uh, activities, I mean, the nanotechnology activities, uh, and uh, spread uh, all over the world, from uh, Korea to San Francisco, uh, from uh, Brazil to Australia and India. So members uh, of this uh, uh, association clusters, let's say, in uh, nano techno nanotechnologies and nanobiotechnologies coming every year, uh, most uh, of them uh, 200 or 250, 
uh, coming, meeting here, for example, tomorrow they have the General Assembly meeting, uh, they will meet to say uh, and share uh, uh, ideas, uh, share results, uh, uh, exchange information and uh, maybe new scientists uh, moving from one place to the other to find uh, the proper uh, material to work or to submit uh, new proposals, uh, European or international or bilateral. This is the the purpose uh, mostly of this uh, nanonet. Uh. And uh, what are people talking about over there? Uh, this is uh, uh, a meeting uh, point for, for now, and today you have uh, this uh, yeah. matchmaking activities. Uh, uh, many people from various, uh, uh, let's say, entities uh, from uh, uh, companies, from uh, research center, try to uh, to meet each other and tra transfer. Uh, the results of uh, their uh, research uh, or uh, they uh, want uh, answer to make uh, business uh, as investors or to communicate, cooperate in various uh, European or international projects. This is the purpose of this matchmaking. B2B meeting takes place uh, in the middle of this round technology event, like today, which is uh, Wednesday. Around 230 meetings will take place uh, during uh, uh, the day. Uh, now you are close to uh, the lunch time, uh, so they will uh, finalize well, for uh, in a the lunch now. time. People are in session. Yes. And uh, here there was amazing plenary yesterday. It was very technical, right? With some yes. some professors from our, the, yes. around the world. Yes. Uh, every the Tuesday afternoon we have the plenary session uh, where people uh, invited the distinguished professor or researcher from all over the world. Uh, uh, actually, yesterday. Uh, you have people, a degree professor from uh, uh, North America, from Canada, and uh, from uh, uh, U uh, United States. Uh, they give uh, three uh, brilliant, I would say, presentations uh, coming from t three different areas: uh, the area of uh, uh, chemistry, uh, uh, green chemistry in uh, producing energy, with Professor uh, Mario Leclerc and Professor. Uh, uh, Pandeliri Socrates who gave uh, a talk on uh, two-dimensional uh, semiconductors, which is the future of uh, inorganic semiconductors. Uh, and uh, the third uh, uh, presentation of uh, Professor uh, Nicholas uh, Pepas, who gave a talk on uh, uh, the nanoscale systems and uh, in nanomedicine and uh, drug delivery systems. It was kind of like the cutting edge of what they're doing, they were presenting, right? Yes, it was a cutting edge, uh, yeah. and actually in uh, short, in uh, less than uh, two hours, uh, they gave uh, uh, what's going on in this uh, conference, bringing uh, together all these people uh, coming from different areas, chemistry, biology, medicine, uh, engineering. Uh, uh, they, they have the opportunity in a short time to, to give uh, the cutting edge, uh, the, the state of the art and beyond, uh, where you are going uh, next year in uh, in terms of uh, science, in terms of uh, technology, in terms of application, innovation will come, and what, uh, how we can solve uh, some of the, 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 the problems uh, arise, for example, the uh, two-dimensional materials, uh, the absence of semiconductors, uh, the talk given by Professor uh, uh, Pandelidis or uh, the talk given by Professor Mario Leclerc, who said that, uh, okay, next uh, year uh, you will see uh, photovoltaics, organic photovoltaics to, to reach uh, silicon technology efficiency or even uh, above them. They're already at 16.8? Uh, 16.8 it was, yes. Uh, it's or, uh, very close uh, to the 20 of something. It's very close to 20, which is the silicon technology, which means that uh, you are close and few years you will see uh, to, to be this uh, uh, efficiency of uh, organic photovoltaics not only in the lab, but also in the production first, and second to uh, optimize the materials and the process in order to be very closer to the, in the case of, uh, uh, and to compare with the silicon, to compete with silicon technology. Of course, nowadays, uh, this technology does not uh, combat silicon, but uh, is going to apply in different other applications. Now you are moving to the area where there are several uh, uh, posters uh, in uh, Two hours, you will have the poster session. From, uh, uh, yeah. from who puts, who are uh, making those? Uh, could you repeat again? Uh, who are presenters? Yes, yeah. this poster comes uh, from young people mostly, but also from uh, 
Uh, all the people, uh, there are uh, several presentations, some hundreds of them. Every day you have some difference, uh, either coming from an uh, organic electronic uh, area uh, or coming from uh, nanomedicine or coming from uh, nanoscience and nanotechnology, uh, various uh, posters uh, in various fields, uh, uh, especially two days ago, three days ago, uh, uh, on Saturday and Sunday, uh, you have some uh, posters here, around uh, 60, 70 posters from young people who are coming from uh, the research, uh, coming from the schools. Uh, the schools are actually are started uh, on Saturday, 29th of uh, uh, this year of uh, June. Uh, every year... 120 have, students? 120 students coming from uh, around 28 countries, different countries. Many European countries, in right? Many European countries, but also from other destinations. Uh, uh, Asia and uh, America as well. Let's have a look here, so let's be a little bit quiet. Yes. Right? Maybe there's a session going on right now. So, so this is one of the workshop uh, running now, some of uh, the sessions, uh, yeah. you see several people and uh, this is the uh, workshop uh, on uh, the clinical nanomedicine uh, for cancer, for example. How many rooms like this? Uh, you have uh, six uh, rooms uh, that are uh, the same time running. Yeah. Uh, one of them is, uh, as you have seen, uh, on uh, nanomedicine, uh, yeah. uh, targeting on uh, cancer uh, uh, applications. Uh, but uh, there are other, in parallel now, yeah. behind you have the meeting for women in nanoscience and nanotechnology. It's the, the other one. Behind there? Uh, here, I'm not sure uh, yeah. which one is uh, this one. Let's check if they're busy right now. Uh, Let me check. Uh, this was uh, okay. It was yesterday. So, okay, this is the graphene and two-dimensional materials uh, workshop, as you have seen yeah. here. Uh, you see several uh, of uh, this kind of uh, uh, sessions on uh, workshops. Uh, here are the... So if the, the papers, what can lead, when they present a paper, can it do a big change in the industry sometimes? Uh, yes, you, you, you hope so, because, okay, you see three, four hundred of this uh, poster presentation uh, here. Uh, some of them will be uh, 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 fast, uh, fa uh, run faster, and you see for them some uh, ideas, uh, some uh, first results, some proof of uh, concept. Uh, in the next two, three, four years to be um, uh, much closer to the end product uh, uh, for uh, the companies uh, in order to, to make uh, product, real product. Uh, either I see this one for uh, synthesis, uh, for example, uh, or uh, chemical performance, or uh, the formation of golden nanoparticles, which are proper for multifunctional properties. And each or of those posters are a different group of people, yes. or different, different students, maybe? Uh, yes, they're exactly, all here. Exactly. This is uh, from uh, different groups uh, all over the world. Uh, I mentioned earlier uh, around uh, 60 different uh, countries, uh, representatives of countries, uh, new people, uh, young people, uh, or uh, professors, distinguished, or people from companies are coming, meeting here in order to present the results, uh, either with uh, all our presentations or with the poster presentations. And, uh, and here we are moving around in the, the hall, where there's another uh, and like this, this is area. A, a, another area, this is a, a bigger area, let's say, the bigger room where you start uh, the events or you have more uh, yeah. uh, larger workshops uh, to participate. I don't know who, which one is running, uh, for example, this uh, room just now, but uh, is one of the large uh, rooms. Uh, let's get on here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's go out again. Uh, maybe uh, here is, here is uh, also Professor Ravi Silva, 
uh, one of the organizer, co-organizer of uh, several of uh, conference and workshop, uh, and uh, I'm sure he wants to say to say a few things. Uh, uh, he gave uh, in the beginning an opening of uh, ISFOE project, this is an organic video electronics, uh, and a very interesting, exciting uh, talk uh, about the fourth generation of solar uh, uh, cells. Uh, so what's, hap what's happening in solar? I hope I can do a separate interview sure. with you. Yes. But what's, can you say a little bit about, um, is uh, flexible solar, this technology going to take over the whole world? Well, I'm not sure, to, too sure about whether it's going to take over the world, but it's going to be a significant component of the energy mix. It's very interesting to come and give this talk at the premier nanotechnology conference in Europe, and particularly to talk about the democratization of solar and democratization of energy because Greece and Thessaloniki itself is really the birthplace of democracy and, and what uh, giving stuff to the people is about and what we are trying to do in electricity is to make it cheap enough so that everyone in this world has an equal say in it and I think Professor Logadidis' group in particular is playing a major role in being able to make solar cells using organic materials cheaply on large areas that is going to be accessible to everyone. And clean, uh, and um, uh, so it's renewables. I, I, I'm kind of hoping that things would be like, you could say that it's free energy forever, but it's not, right? Because there's a, there's a certain life. Is there any chance we might have free energy forever? Oh, absolutely. So the theme of my talk is really about free energy, and it's free energy by 2035. And that's based on facts rather than any fictitious numbers. It's purely based on the deployment of solar. What we have found out is that every time there is a doubling of the deployment of solar, there is a significant decrease in the price. So at present, uh, in 2018, 500 gigawatts of solar energy is available. We believe at present the price is compatible, uh, working at around 15 cents per kilowatt hour uh, for uh, the delivery of solar. By 2035, the cost would be less than 3 cents, and once that happens, it's going to be half the price of any fossil fuel-based uh, energy. So as a result of that, it has to be provided to people and it's the provision that is going to cost rather than the entity. So energy will be free, but the provision of energy, much like uh, the mobile phone companies, will be uh, where uh, the providers make money. Pro pro building the smart grid. Exactly. And the right. smart grid is also something that is being looked at within this conference and as a result we can start looking at really the next generation being born at a nanotextronic really. nice. So I hope I, later I can catch you, we can do a separate sure. video. Yes, so, so to, to make a, a to, 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 to interview a bit uh, yeah. about the whole event, etc. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. Yeah, so going now inside to the, again, to the exhibition uh, area. Yeah. You are uh, here in the corridor coming from uh, reception and where uh, you are ready now, almost in a few minutes to start uh, uh, the breaks uh, for uh, lunch. It's, uh, it's also already. when people network in the lunch break. And uh, yes, the uh, you, you want to have all people together uh, in uh, this exhibition area, having the lunch or the breaks for coffee in order to network and discuss. Uh, uh, this yeah. is the beauty of this uh, uh, multi-event, uh, brings uh, people for uh, all this uh, area of the, uh, of the planet, but uh, uh, they give the opportunity for networking, uh, for uh, making meetings, uh, presenting the, their results. Uh, around 25 European projects are run in parallel, uh, present the results, they have their posters, but also meetings uh, with uh, EU and European uh, and uh, USA for uh, nano manufacturing uh, and nano fabrication will take place on Friday, for example, or other uh, meetings, uh, people uh, are signing agreements, for example, the Greek uh, uh, nanotechnology lab, our lab will be signing an agreement tomorrow at uh, uh, noon time and lunch time with uh, uh, Turkish uh, 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 nanotechnology center from uh, Savasi University. So many of these kind of uh, activities, cooperations, or uh, agreements will take place, uh, networking, young people to meet uh, professors to start uh, uh, talking about how uh, for mobility, for work, uh, or asking for uh, 
uh, empty spaces, positions in uh, various university companies. So all these uh, activities or other people who try to build uh, consortia to submit uh, proposals uh, are is the proper uh, area to work together and uh, this networking together with matchmaking activities you passed earlier uh, a few minutes ago. It's uh, some of the activities. Of course, behind all this, uh, people uh, after staying uh, 12, uh, 13 hours within this uh, area, they, within this uh, uh, building, they want to have some uh, social life also. And the social life is uh, given uh, through, let's say, the uh, Galai dinner you have yesterday night or today uh, in the afternoon after 5 o'clock. You will have uh, the beach bar activities where all people will move with buses uh, nearby around 40, 50 kilometers from here in order to relax a bit and to discuss uh, or uh, to uh, swim, uh, let's say, uh, but uh, in, a, in a different or to work together and to cooperate in a different relaxing uh, way. And here's so, the Aristotle University, a lot yes, of the base is, of uh, what you've done, right? Yes, this is the Aristotle University. Many other uh, uh, labs uh, or activities which take place within this are presented in this uh, uh, booth. Uh, for uh, various areas coming from uh, physics, chemistry, from uh, material science, from uh, medicine, or from engineering, chemical engineering, uh, other areas. They present their results, uh, uh, various uh, activities. Uh, it's uh, worth to, to, to see to inside each of them uh, uh, what uh, they presented uh, uh, and what are the, the yeah. beauties. Several so separate video with them? Yes, and there are around 40, 50 of this uh, kind of uh, labs in uh, Aristotle University. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, actually from uh, Aristotle University started in 2003, uh, the activities with uh, Nanonet uh, originally wants to uh, uh, bring together all these uh, activities within the university and later to go outside from uh, uh, university in the country or if it was possible to, to live uh, outside from the country and this is the success after the almost uh, 17 years uh, uh, this nanonet has uh, uh, mentioned earlier around 600 uh, members all over the world now and uh, i see here eu japan center yes uh, quite important this yes. is the EU Japan uh, Center uh, for Industrial Cooperation. Uh, you started this uh, activity uh, almost uh, four or five years. First yes. they came, they have some networking activities and then decide uh, the last two, three years coming every year uh, and participated with the booth. And here's uh, a... This is uh, one of the gentlemen. Uh, hi, you're welcome. Hey. Uh, Okay, this is from Kaust uh, Solar Cell. Okay. Saudi Arabia. Sa Saudi Arabia. So they... you've got lots of solar over there happening? Yes, we, have, uh, we are very lucky. We have a lot of sun there, and that's a perfect place to do a research related to solar. Um, I think uh, Solar Center has something special in terms of the portfolio. We are covering organic photovoltaics. We are working on Perovskite. We are also looking into existing technology, which is a silicon technology. But I think the challenge there is that when it comes to high pressure, high temperature, um, oh, the performance is getting low and low, and that's one of the challenge which Center is going to handle in the future. Nice. So you come here at the nanotechnology conference to network and uh, collaborate on the cutting edge for this kind of technologies, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think this is a very uh, good form, forum to come because you meet with the people who are working on the material side, but you also meet with the people who are um, really at the, um, the last stage of the technology. So, so there are companies, very mix of um, companies and universities. You can nice. see both sides. Nice. So I hope I can catch up with you later in another sure. video. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, also the people from uh, EU, Japan, uh, uh, yeah. From both areas, from uh, yeah. Tokyo and uh, Brussels, uh, they make all these activities uh, for uh, training, matchmaking uh, ev events, or uh, uh, try to accelerate uh, cooperation. Is, is good collaboration, uh, good collaboration right uh, already, and uh, some yeah. people already. Yeah. Uh, you can see here uh, and may say a few words about the, these activities between uh, EU yeah. and uh, Japan. Hello. Hi. How are you? You're welcome here. Okay, so you've been please. busy this this week, hopefully. 
Yes, quite yeah. busy actually. Had a brokerage event, a couple of meetings, uh, went super well, so very happy about it. Cool. Thank Thanks you. a lot. No that's, that's awesome. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, you can move a bit uh, to yeah. other people. Uh, here it's a booth for, uh, for example, for Goodfellow. Okay. Hi, how are I, you? I did, I did yeah, a cool video here. with them, talking about yeah. their, all their materials right here. Yes. yes. So, so, various types of uh, materials, uh, nanomaterials. You provide the whole priority table, nearly, right? Almost. 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 Nice. That's cool. And uh, how's it been this conference? Good, yeah. We've had lots of good discussions with, with researchers and um, with, with some existing customers and some potential new customers. So, so it's been really positive. To develop some new solutions. Hopefully, yeah. That's yeah. what we're always looking to do is, is help customers solve their problems and, and uh, maybe look at materials in a slightly different way to think about what materials they might be able to use for, for their projects. So, cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, and the video is really cool. But I'll post it later. Cool. And uh, other here? Yeah, uh, uh, other companies uh, yeah. relate also with uh, materials, uh, nanomaterials. Yeah. Uh, it's over the video separately. Yes, yeah. okay. And, uh, and uh, maybe we can. The, the, well, the, there's there's going to be a lot lot of content posted. Yeah, and also uh, here you can see some other uh, focal spec uh, from uh, Finland, uh, actually. Yeah. This gentleman, okay, hey. he said he works about uh, the product. Uh, so, hi. What, hi. what do you have here? Uh, we are a company called Focalspec from Finland. We are manufacturing sensors and systems based on a novel technology called line confocal imaging. It has been developed by Finnish scientists who has been working at VTT, which was the which is the technical research center of Finland. So our company was a spin-off from VTT. Uh, we are about 12 years old company. So we are manufacturing sensors and systems based on our novel technology. Our technology has some unique features such as 3D topography, 3D tomography and 2D intensity imaging can be acquired simultaneously with our sensors. Our main applications are demanding applications and niche, niche applications of consumer electronics such as multi-layer transparent material characterization or inspection of 3D curved glasses or bore height inspection of lithium-ion batteries and uh, such others. Nice. So I'll, I'll swing back to do a separate video of later. Course. That's cool. Thanks a lot. Okay, Thank let's you, uh, move you. here to Frau Hofer. Uh, hey. Hello. Hey. Christina Pfeffer, uh, is doctor from uh, an exposure for uh, the lab. Uh, please, Christina. And you have a lot of cool uh, things happening in your lab? Yeah. Uh, is it cutting edge? This is cutting edge. Actually, this is a new method that we set up. Um, we, it's a new printing method where we go to a very low resolution. And uh, here you just see the device preparation, how it's going on. How low resolution? Uh, so the nano lowest... level, no. Not to the nano. Nah, close. Uh, yeah. The lowest resolution we have achieved is uh, 3.5 micrometer droplet size on a glass uh, deposited. And uh, we are targeting for a micrometer, so it's a uh, thousand nanometers. But. Uh, nice. And uh, is it a good, a good conference for you to, to network? It's a very good conference for networking. You find uh, or you meet many people from European and also overseas uh, places coming here. Very interesting talks. And um, it is, uh, it's important also for European networking um, in direction of European projects. Nice. So it's... Cool. Really I'll, I'll swing back later. Maybe I can do more okay. interview with you. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And uh, maybe you can uh, just just one more over here with the uh, Fluxim. Yeah. Distributors, right? Yes. This is uh, ex exhibitors. Uh, companies uh, present se several tools, equipment uh, for uh, making a job. Uh, otherwise, without this. Uh, uh, Equipment the is impossible. Are, are Without using, this right? tool, it's impossible to do it. This is from Fluxim from uh, hey. Switzerland. Sandra is here. Sandra say a few words about uh, so the, the bios products. It's a Greek yes, name, right? So this is an all-in-one measurement system. That's why it's called Pios All-in-One. And uh, it can do steady state, transient and impedance measurement of organic solar cells. This one is an organic solar cells solar cell and also for OLEDs. So is it, uh, what is, how is it useful for the solar cell? You can measure? You can characterize it in steady state, that's what usually people do, but you can also characterize it in transient domain and frequency domain, so 
nice. you can learn a lot more about charge transport and nice. So I'll swing back later. We'll do a video here, and the video also yes. from the SID display week. Uh, you yeah. see, there are uh, several uh, cooperation or working within the uh, project. Uh, uh, Fluxima uh, is a uh, member of uh, one of the bigger European project, Cornet uh, Running, uh, and coordinate with uh, Aristotle University. Previous days, you have the meeting here, and you have also these uh, review meetings. So also. Fluxim uh, contribute uh, with uh, their uh, equipment in order to make uh, some uh, education and training uh, exhibition to students of the schools. We have several other, such uh, companies which uh, brings their equipment in order to make the training for the students uh, and then remain as uh, uh, exhibitors uh, in uh, booths uh, during the exhibition uh, uh, session or uh, exhibition uh, of this nanotechnology event. Would you say it's the most successful nanotechnology conference so far? Uh, it's uh, uh, from the point of view of uh, uh, running for 16, uh, uh, continuous uh, annually years uh, in the same place and bringing together all these uh, uh, seven to 800 uh, different people from 60 countries and having this uh, strong uh, networking activities uh, in all uh, level from students to the industry, from uh, spin-offs to uh, large companies and uh, uh, having inside uh, all these exhibition, uh, matchmaking events, uh, all these activities together, I uh, will say, okay, I'm proud to say that uh, it's almost one of the biggest activities in the world, uh, combine all these things together. One of the leading in Europe, right? Uh, one of the leading in Europe, uh, running uh, for 16 years uh, and supporting all, all these networks uh, around uh, all these people uh, uh, you mentioned and discussed uh, just uh, during this uh, video. So you obviously uh, think that the nanotechnology is going to be huge in the future. How can it accelerate? How can we get to results even faster? Uh, one is, of course, uh, this kind of uh, meetings, uh, exhibitions, uh, but also the, the attraction of people from business and uh, how fast uh, uh, brings the results from uh, research and innovation to the real uh, market. This accelerates uh, uh, the business, accelerates the field, uh, accelerates the, the results uh, and gives more uh, opportunities or solutions to society. So uh, measures uh, uh, will be taken uh, bringing these results, announce, disseminate these uh, uh, results in order to be exploited and to, in order to be Closer, brings uh, closer to the makers, uh, policy makers or uh, people who make the strategy for a country uh, or for uh, uh, app application, to bring the application faster to results, to give new positions, to, uh, to create new companies, uh, to uh, produce uh, new uh, competitive uh, results and to be export from, let's say, Europe or uh, from Asia to Europe, so to, to bring, to make this uh, business uh, be, between uh, the various uh, companies could be created. Several, many, I would say, companies uh, have been created the last few years. Uh, you have seen also during the last 16 years uh, how many companies uh, started uh, very early, uh, 10 years ago, now it's established companies, uh, uh, not only in, in this country, but all over the Europe, all over the world. So faster collaboration, is just bigger investment going to accelerate things automatically yes, or is yes. not only uh, the investment? Okay, it's not only, nothing is happening uh, automatically. Uh, all needs uh, people behind, uh, so it needs people to combine things, uh, to work uh, to, together, to bring uh, uh, the ideas in, uh, in praxis, uh, uh, need uh, to collaborate, uh, need uh, these activities, uh, like you see before, uh, the EU and uh, Japan uh, uh, Center, uh, this is uh, some uh, dissemination activities, but also you need the venture capital to, get, to come uh, closer. For example, on uh, uh, Friday you have the meeting on commercialization of uh, results of nanotechnology, where uh, people from uh, venture capital for investors, they have to present, or other people for uh, various areas, they have to give uh, ideas how we could uh, accelerate uh, and how we'll bring uh, the results of uh, nanotechnologies uh, for various areas will come faster to the to the business uh, to the real product uh, to the society and uh, this is uh, uh, some of the, of the tools 
of course, governments, uh, local governments, uh, they have to hear, they learn, uh, put uh, uh, all these activities within their portfolio uh, in order to accelerate this kind of activities and in order to get uh, more uh, uh, from the added value that uh, this technologies innovation brings uh, to them. So this is a big potential for Greece? The region and uh, the EU is, should support it more and more. Or how yeah. does it work? Uh, uh, local uh, government, uh, local uh, the minister measures. Uh, minister yesterday it was our uh, minister uh, or uh, people from uh, the uh, local uh, government and uh, major, as well as uh, all uh, uh, new rector with uh, new vice rectors. They came uh, all together to discuss. They. Uh, several uh, hours they saw their commitment, how much they interested for this kind of uh, uh, application, for this uh, new kind of business. Uh, all these people, it's uh, quite important that uh, they commit uh, and they want to, to get uh, back uh, results uh, for their efforts, uh, their investments uh, uh, in the universities, in the companies, in, in the young people. Uh, so they want uh, to uh, they actually saw with uh, their commitment how much they invest uh, and how much hope uh, to have some returns from uh, this uh, value, the added value given by nanotechnologies in uh, various fields. So now we have a new EU commission coming in, we have uh, elections here in Greece. All these yes. uh, n new, new people that are coming in should all consider this as a priority, right? Yeah, uh, you hope so that uh, all this will put in their portfolio and their strategy and they help uh, uh, the people, uh, the companies, but also they be help uh, in order to show some results uh, in uh, short uh, time and not uh, after 15 years uh, with a second yeah. uh, next uh, government, the second... Uh, yeah, we want to see quick results and uh, the green tech is the number yes. one priority yes. in the new EU yeah. and most governments are talking about green. Yes. Uh, so we need a more affordable solar, and this is one way. This of is very it, right? good uh, you, you to mention that it's uh, these technologies are the most green technologies uh, ever uh, our civilization uh, thought uh, or uh, work. Uh, so yesterday we have this talk of from uh, green chemistry to uh, renewable energy. So this uh, uh, all. Uh, uh, beauties comes from uh, nanotechnologies. Uh, how to bring, uh, how to cost less, to in energy in order to produce uh, uh, new products uh, or uh, new energy products uh, uh, like uh, organic for printed photovoltaics, roll to roll production, mass production, low cost, but also. Uh, sensors, biosensors to be pr produced by uh, roll to roll uh, uh, for low cost uh, uh, parts, uh, for, uh, for example, or other uh, application. It's uh, quite important because it reduces the cost uh, and uh, uh, used by, by many people uh, for many, many cases. Mass production in roll to roll, for example, it's uh, this uh, nano manufacturing, as mentioned, uh, between EU and USA. Uh, you are going to uh, discuss on uh, Friday is uh, one of the opportunities to see how can be done sustainable and how can succeed and bring uh, uh, massive uh, results uh, and products uh, in, in okay, the next few please. years. So from a lab, university to uh, pilot lines, but now we also want to see mass production. Mass production uh, soon. in production soon. So uh, you have seen here how connected all this. Uh, uh, labs from university research centers to companies uh, to pilot uh, lines and how this uh, brings and uh, uh, will come uh, very soon uh, in uh, mass production in order to have not only new things products but to have uh, mass uh, production products uh, are necessary in order not only to reduce the cost but to go to the all people or many applications uh, uh, everyday applications uh, from medicine uh, to engineering, uh, from uh, automotive, uh, to to the space, uh, whatever and they are. Change the world. Uh, change the, the, change the, uh, the, the, the world with uh, new products uh, and cheaper product and high, of course, quality of product.